Bonjour and bienvenue and welcome back to Doom, where we left off learning a little bit about Olivia Pierce. I genuinely thought that killed me, but in fact it was sufficiently much impact to fall down the thing. Literally just before I started recording, I remembered that the whole reason this thing started off is that I chased a drone who was here and is now not here. So, where? Good question. Let's find. Um, reset crane to base. I didn't see this. That's probably what that's for. I need a friend to press it for me. Can I get on it when it's finished moving? Whilst it's moving? Am I supposed to be able to jump onto it? Okay. Get on it. Oh, you can. I was going to say... I was going to complain about his complete failure to grab onto a perfectly square box. Secret found. There you are. Just as I was thinking of waxing lyrical about how I completely failed to deal with this, there's me doing it. Lock on burst. Press and hold weapon mod to lock onto a target. That is a rocket launch. Let's take a look at the Gauss cannon ones. Uh, use the weapon mod button to zoom in and charge a high damage shot, which could be really cool, especially from a range like on a Mancubus or something. Um, penetrative shot. Movement is disabled in siege mode, but in precision mode it's not. I like the um, Union Aerospace how to kill a demon who's doing you harm, doing you harm thingy. Please tell me there's a BFG. You put that on there and you have to stand still, but it wallops everything. Um, energy efficient and lightweight, <clears throat> or outer beam and reduced charge time. So this one's going to do a hell of a lot of damage through multiple things. Feels like it charges up, maybe? It, it does charge up. Or this one will also charge up. It's a precision one. I think we have enough precision weapons, to be quite honest with you. So, I'm going to take siege... Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. This one also had mobile turret. <clears throat> it will stall if it overheats. So, I didn't really feel like that was that useful. Even worse, basically. The plasma rifle... No, no, no. I think we just take this. I think we've decided on a, a, a build, basically, and there's no point switching out all of our other weapons and then having to rebuy all the upgrades. So look at this. Argon Gas Ionizer. I mean, we'll just have to see how it goes, I suppose. I've missed an entry about it. Presumably that is, yeah, that's the other field drone thing. Uh, so we can charge this up now, which is splendid. We will also check the map. There is HP, which we knew about. There's a dude up there, which we missed while we were up there, which is kind of annoying because we're going to have to go all the way around again to find it, uh, which doesn't actually seem that too far. We've got all of our challenges done somehow. Well, that one was trivial. I did kill a Revenant while it was in midair. I honestly didn't even notice. And kill finding with the chainsaw was easy because I'm killing as many as I can with the chainsaw because it's great fun. I'm having a quick look at things in the distance to see if anything looks... Um, Missed basically, but I honestly I think we've got most of it. I don't really see any fading out type zones, you know, anywhere that we should have gone. Maybe we haven't gone through a couple of doors. I I, I don't really care. Um, so let's have a look at our weapon upgrade tokens. We do have five. Um, a devastating area effect, or the charge time is reduced. I will hold off on buying these for the simple reason I don't know whether I need them. I have not tried this siege mode, but what I do know that I want is to chase this so that I can have that. So I'm gonna do it. Get 50 headshot kills while using the tactical scope. Imminently possible because I tend to headshot those eye those eyeball thingies. You know the ones. I'm gonna go back this way again just to pick up the chippy dude. I appreciate the fact, by the way, that you can just go up here. <laughs> Save mucking around in that nonsense. And here we are already back. So that was easy. There's a tiny bit of HP we could pick up, but honestly, I don't care. Uh, and we'll see if we can figure out the way into that. That oh, was up there. Uh, try again. Double jump's really helpful. Secret? Seek. Uh, checkpoint rather than a secret. Oh, and a secret. Hello! It's Buzz Lightyear. Cool. Blurry. Baron of Hell model Patriot guy. Well, it looks like Captain Comic. You all know Captain Comic. I don't have to explain some video gaming history like Captain Comic, apart from the fact that almost literally nobody is going to have ever heard of Captain Comic in their entire lives. So we've got a nice new upgrade to this, which means that we can walk around faster while in tactical scope mode, 
So I don't really find that useful because it's just an easy way of falling off the edge, right? So let's um, do that. All of a sudden, this is difficult to do. Holds breath in real life in order to stop vibrating the view in game life. Actually, it turns out to be harder to uh, aim whilst zoomed in. If you're zoomed in, it means that you are moving fast. Doing quite well here. That's six already. Seven. Almost feel like it's doing it for me. Eight. This seems like a pinky place. Oh, sweet. That all? Am I ready for departure? Did you even ask? No, I want some soda. Let's just have a quick look. Hey, look, you see, there's, there's secrets. Where? <laughs> Please. Oh, I see. Having fallen down here, you're then supposed to have another look back up there. Turn around. I do like the way they um, hide some secrets. Again, prayer to suit upgrade. At this point, it's just quality of life things. That wasn't a secret, though. You don't deserve to know about secrets. Tram access, great. Uh, let's check our prayer to suit before we go through there. We have three tokens, which means that we can have... I mean, resistance to explosive damage, unless something is actually actively hurting me and I've not noticed. I, I don't think that's a great deal. So we're going to get... Rapid charge. Further decreased recharge duration. This will be explosive barrel damage. I don't care about that. This will be length of time, right? I, I misunderstood. Yesterday I said, well, in the previous episode I said, I wonder if that makes it core damage like five times damage. I, I forgot that you can click and then there's another option to make. Uh, length of time could be good. Mostly only useful for maybe um, the, the one that we are actually using now that I think about it. So, sure, we'll buy that. It costs three. We should spend all of them, really. Uh, most of these things I don't care about. Again, it's much like the the Eye of Belial tiers that we keep picking up, where you can pick up health, armor, or um, or, or 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 not <laughs> ammo. That wasn't quite good enough. Look, it was a secret we didn't get. The Argent cells. You can. You can upgrade things that I don't really care about upgrading. I feel already sufficiently powerful. So why would I pick up... A, who cares if I've got more ammo? Only once or twice have I run out of ammo, and then I usually have chainsaw ammo, so I can run around and, you know, get a lot of it back, which is exactly what happened at the start of the last episode. And and I die from falling off of things. Occasionally I die from being eaten by a cacodemon, but a little bit more health isn't going to help. These are the sorts of things that like, eventually they'll build up and earlier things would be way easier right, as a result of having all these extra stuffs and later things might actually turn out to be easy because I've been picking up these things as we go along but I'm picking them up at random, arbitrarily. I'm not making a decision based on what I'm having trouble with. Except for the fact that I recently had trouble with... Oh, I, I can't move in case bad stuff happens. Because uh, the game can't go... We meet in person. My office is on the second floor. That leaves it a bit late to open that door, doesn't it? Feels almost unreal. Which I keep confusing this game with. I appreciate, by the way, I haven't mentioned this, but all the models and designs are not Unreal 2003 style. Uh, Unreal 2 or UT 2003 style. They they have... They have... The, not charisma, but they have their own design. They have their own shape. They're not just tubes and lumps. Have you ever played Doom 3? Not Doom 3. Obviously, you played Doom 3. I haven't played Doom 3. It was the best game ever made. Uh, um, Quake? No. Yeah, Quake 3. All the weapons were just cylinders. Just slightly different cylinders. Even the machine gun was just a cone, which was a tapered cylinder. It's like they didn't put any design into the weapons at all. It was very irritating. This looks like the... Um... Oh, hello. This looks like the, um... <laughs> I, I had to try it. This looks like the Call of Duty airport. 
in Call of Duty. I don't know which one it was. Oh, scream? No, no scream. Uh, probably my favourite thing about Doom Three was the mirror in the first mission after the Hellmouth was opened. It was, it was, it worked. It got me. I, okay, it it worked on me. I thought it was a very good. Also, I don't have a reflection in this, and that one did, which is very upsetting because it's 2017 and we should have real time reflections by now. Especially in a small room like that. They're all in there. I am not in there. This seems fine. We should just hang out. Hang out in here with all the friends. Obviously, I'm doing this on purpose in order to get my uh, demonic presence eliminated. All you gave me was a bunch of these dudes. UAC needs your faith. Don't need that. Do I? It's health, right? I don't need health. Get out of here. We'll turn the lockdown off. And then there'll be even more demons. Half the time, it doesn't give a toss about how many demons there are. This is the other thing about these games which kind of ruins the immersion to some extent. And I know that's a weird thing to say about a Doom game, but seriously. They use the excuse of a demonic presence to prevent you from going through a door. Fair enough, you know, there's a lockdown in effect because... Uh, excuse me, I, I turned it off. So, I shot them and it said demonic presence. Just just disperse or whatever it said, you know. Let me turn this off. Oh. It let me turn that all that off. And then on the other side, there's an even greater demonic presence, which I have no chance to deal with. Apart from the fact that it let me... Nah, not good at it. Apart from the fact it let me... I could just use this gas cannon. As a gas cannon. <laughs> I'm finding that siege thing very difficult to use because the enemies are actually really fast. Oh, I did get him. So why would it prevent me from opening the door in one situation and then require me to open the door in the next situation? It's a little bit... I'm all for suspension of disbelief. But... Uh, apparently there's an auto map somewhere. Welcome to your advocates, you fellow. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. I've opened my mind. If you open your mind too much, your brain will fall out. Oh, let's listen. What kind of work is it that you're doing, Olivia? I haven't seen a report from your team in months now, have I? Can I trust that you can maintain your distance and control the situation? So maybe she uh, lost. I believe in our work. She obviously went nuts. <laughs> People go nuts in the face of Hellmouth's opening. We will have to make even greater sacrifices. This isn't progress, it's madness. The board understands the peculiar nature of your work, and no one is in the dark on what those sacrifices mean to mankind. But your judgment is no longer considered sound. Okay, so in the previous episode when we saw the little bit of exposition, I was like, maybe Olivia Pierce was the one saying we can't do stuff. But it seems like that might not be the case. Also, I'm going back, by the way. I'm just having a quick look for the auto map because it can't be that far away. Fire extinguisher. Doesn't look like a fire extinguisher that I've ever seen. This vast state-of-the-art research, design, and production center uses cutting-edge technology. I don't see it. Do you see it? What if we jump on the track? Do you think we get electrocuted? Bzzzt. Expecting secrets, by the way. When I make levels like this, either in real life, in the old days, or just in my mind, <laughs> you put secrets everywhere, man. The automat will be on the actual map. There's armor in there. How did you miss that? It's glowing bright, bright, bright. Sunshiny day. Um. Okay, so there's an Argent Ball. 
Oops, how did I miss that? There's a zappy thing, which is actually downstairs. I don't think we have the auto map. It's there. I can't get through. Pesky. Oh, I might be able to now, because I have dealt with the demonic presence. Oh, no, it's still paused. Boop, boop. I'm guessing that's what the other thing does. Totally missed this as well. It's a good thing it was on the map, huh? Those actually really help. See, the ammo helps more than the fact I can hold more ammo. What? I've only ever got 40 bloody armor anyway, so what do I need that for? And I'm a... Why, why is my health a subsystem? This isn't Tron. I should do Tron 2.0. Now I've got 200 HP and there's nothing you can do about it. Argent Overload. Brilliant. I've got an achievement for it. So, let's go up here. Push that button and see if it opens that door down there. It's probably a security override, right? Yes. Don't literally open it. You're a bad shot, John Spartan. Good. Good. Those things have gravity of their own. 28. 50? Wow. I mean, it's been... <laughs> it's been one episode since I picked this up and I'm already more than halfway there so I think we're going to be getting this done pretty quickly is this open now heavens above it'll probably send us back here at some point so there's no real reason to worry about it right now I'm hearing zaps but I thought there were footsteps so I thought something was coming towards me I got that's uh, having less of an effect now than it did when I first heard it 30. I mean, I dare say I've missed a couple. Probably could have done better at once or twice. Just having a look around, see if there's anything else I can headshot before I start the whole invasion. Open the pod sort of thing. Break the hive. Unless that is the noise of the hive, I'm not quite sure. These help. I hadn't really noticed that I may be a little low on... Ammunition? Well, I mean, there's you. That did take me two shots to hit one thing in the head with one of them. But, I mean, I'm kind of okay with it. That looks like Berserk. This is going to be fun. Are you spawning? I think they might be spawning, which means I could do this forever. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna open this and then I'm gonna go berserk. Literally go and go to get this berserk right now. LOL! Come on then. Where are you at? <laughs> you literally glory kill everything in this mode. I love it. I don't even know what I'm. Why am I doing so well? Also, I'm starting to feel like the thing that I bought that actually gives me this berserk power lasting so long, totally worth it. Literally 100% worth it. <laughs> More? Come on. Ah. I also forgot that I have so much control in the air. What have I got in here? Uh, maybe not that. That's my rifle seems good. Oh! That's a synergy in Isaac speak. If you stagger a whole bunch of stuff... ...and then they're not moving, then you have time to Gauss Cannon them. And having... Okay, there's a couple of things that I've actually managed to piece together entirely by accident here that are working really well for me. One of them is having the uh, stagger and the quick... Wait. So I've got quick glory kills and stagger. Which means I can chain together way more glory kills than I used to be able to, simply because they're all in glory kill mode, longer, 
and I get through them quicker. Oh, that was a good shot, Sunshine. You give me some HP back. Right, so I tried to glory kill it through the window, but I couldn't. <laughs> so it just said no. By the way, what what's what's our little goals? What what are the purposes of this mission? What can we do? How do we get good sun? So um, let's have a look. Performs five screw top attack the lower right leg or head from behind. That I think that's where you just break their neck, right? Two rune trial stones, two collectibles. So that must be these. Oh, there's two. Um, there's two chibi dudes. I see. All right, let's continue. Or, or re re rebuild. I don't want to meet Samuel Hayden. Did I not press this button? You not let me. Let me go through here. Do I lose progress on this, or do I keep it? Because I seem to remember that last time I had progress on a um, thing like this. I got to keep it, so every time I died and started again, it just added more, yeah. So, I'm just going to walk around and headshot everything. Apparently entirely by accident, because anybody who was watching that would probably be shouting, Referee, did you see that shot? His targeting reticle was way off and by some cheat hacks bloody nonsense the bullet that came out of his weapon was compensated perfectly for the bad aim that he had in the first place although cheat hacks would somehow make more sense if you know any of these other shots were hitting there we go probably want to maybe not waste all my ammo on trying to headshot these jokers It's a bit grim. Pretty sure it's not supposed to be doing that as well. I keep trying to reload. Luckily, only one of my weapons actually has two, <laughs> two things to switch between. Whilst well, so I have a bit of trouble. Right, max shotgun shells. Let's begin this and have a little bit of fun with the berserk again, which, you know, I honestly don't think can go badly. <laughs> There's no way this is bad. Here we go. One. Two. Also, I seem to keep getting um, that rune trial thing going on when I do this sometimes, so... Maybe it's because I'm jumping? Yeah. I just need to do a jump and then berserk something, and my rune trial goes up the roof. Through the roof. Up in the air. Come back. Berserk isn't lasting long enough for you jokers to be running away from me like this. It doesn't quite last long enough, because of the way the enemies run away, unfortunately. It doesn't quite last long enough for me to be able to, um... Excuse me. Please. Don't want the gas cannon, necessarily. That was not what I meant to do. That used too much... Oh, yes. Good. Right, now let's get the... Plasma rifle out. Try and make sure we get some glory kills in here so that we can basically just keep it going, keep it going. Full steam! By the way, it seems to me that the plasma rifle also breaks their shields. Uh oh. Don't walk backwards, it's bad for you. I seem to remember... Last time I did this, that joker over there... Um, quite happily... Came forwards and didn't... Ruin everyone's life. Just stood next to the other guy and died, I seem to remember. Uh, everything is bad right now. Yes, got ya. Die. Perfect. 
How is that not a unique glory kill? So on an enemy, I hardly have a glory kill. That, that was unique. Perfect. Wait, I thought I needed... A different number. <laughs> Help. Super shotgun. Yes, that's what we need. Get close to this joker and... Super shotgun his ass. Die faster. I very much like the upgrade to this that allows me to fire it twice before reloading. Alright, we're back in the game. Which we never left. Didn't mean to do that, but it worked out. Yeah, rocket launcher. Can we, uh... Maybe not in close proximity. I know what you're thinking. Rocket launcher in close proximity. What could possibly go wrong? Do it. I have slightly more of a survival instinct than you may give me credit for just here. Thank you. It's actually, uh... Eliminated. Of course that's the word you would use. Well, I guess we go through here. Hmm. I should have chainsawed some things. Ah. Oh, why didn't you chainsaw some things? How many chainsaw ammo have you got? Five. Look. Some things take five chainsaw ammo. We should save them. We could probably chainsaw a hell knight. Ooh. Oh. That'll be what the ammo thing does. I keep wanting to go back and check this map. Can't go that way anymore. All right. Screw you, hippie. Um, yeah, the ammo thing. When you get a an eye of Belial thingy. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. Do not be alarmed by the system. Oh, hello. Update. It is a prototype of our interdimensional tether, a means for me to pull you back from hell. We're going back in. I'm sorry. That sounds good. I like the idea. But I didn't think you'd allow its installation voluntarily. So I think this guy's basically on our side, but he has a very specific goal. Way, He's very stubborn, I think. Oh, let's walk really slowly, because that's what every computer gamer, every video gamer likes it when the NPC walks so slowly that you have to hold shift and you still... <laughs> I like the curvy screens. Very futuristic. He's welcome. Am I welcome? Talking to shut. Take whatever supplies you need. Ooh. These old me's? Who's this dude? That's me. It's obviously a um uh, a cast of the original the discovery of the Praetor suit. Tower is devastating. But I am committed to helping you close the portal. Just take everything because it's available. All of our work and understanding of their work is derived from the inscriptions on a large stone artifact we pulled from hell in the earliest days of the program. See, in real life you wouldn't do this, would you? The helix He'd be like, get off the fucking desk. It is our most Oops, I went up. Asset. The microphone is in a new place for me. <laughs> Not that I didn't hit it when it was in the other place all the time. How to manipulate hell's energy. Bend it to our will. This doesn't seem to have too much on it. Stone showed us how to harness the power of the well. I believe it will show you how to shut it down. Well, <laughs> for years, Olivia has kept the helix in her private office in the Lazarus Labs, which is only accessible through a secure elevator from the advanced research complex across the chasm. You're a Guess we're going that way. Ooh. Ooh. Something useful there as well. BFG, BFG, BFG. Thank you. I would like the BFG, please. That thing needs to be reset ASAP. This way? No. This way? Why as well? We haven't used any of these. Again, health is clearly more useful than armor if you're going to pick up an Eye of Belial thingy, because you don't... There's not... A, the supply of armor is poor, right? I guess I could Im like I, c I could load in the the rune thingy that gives me more armor from killing 
glory killing things, but I wouldn't be able to move around in the air quite so much. Wait. After a double jump. Oh yeah, that's way more, more better. So I'm just gonna. That told me about Samuel, by the way, in case you were wondering. So we should. There's another piece of information about this Joker. Samuel's a point. Project director. It was deemed too bizarre to have the world's first cyborg leading the most powerful corporation in the solar system. Well. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound, you should just go ahead. It's progress. You know, it's, it's, it's liberal, it's, it's, it's progressive. Do you not want to be considered the forefront of... One more and then we're the best who ever lived. We're the best who ever lived. Alright, I don't need to do that anymore. Um, this upgrade to our um, Gauss Cannon seems like something that's going to be difficult to actually get involved with. The fact that it pierces through several enemies is fine, but I can understand why you'd want it to charge up faster. So I think it's going to be a while before we can use it to any particular effect. So our zoomed in uh, bullets are now amazing bullets. But our not zoomed in bullets are not. Here are all the sorts of things that we found ourselves in. There's more than one of them. But that's got a head shape as well. How many... How many doom... Marines were in hell with me. I thought I was on my own. Also, surely I knew about how to, you know, own hell. <laughs> I should be able to turn that well off by now, is what I'm saying. Open airlock. I'm glad we don't have to run around picking up the oxygen things like we did in Doom 3. Much as I thought that Doom 3 was kind of okay. And kind of okay is better than pretty not okay. So it's, you know, it's high praise. That is a haste, I think. I think we've already done our 25 on the... just want to check before we go any further. Uh, we have further increased the speed of glory kills. We need 25 death from above glory kills. And 30 while in mid-air. So we have done our 25 uniques. So I don't really need to think about that anymore. Pretty difficult to glory kill these things when they die so easily anyway. You see that shit? I was quite clearly on the way into that. How have I got so little HP? This is kind of why I think that we should have uh, upgraded the HP before we upgraded the armor because I'm out of armor. And I can imagine that there's a synergy between having a big armor capacity and the thing that makes armor for you. doing it. He's going to be go. We're going to get him. He's done. Good. I got more information about the Mancubus. Cyber Mancubus. That was an actual Cyber Mancubus. That's why it was harder. The uh, difficulty there was legit. Sweet. See how fast that was? So now that we've got the extended stagger time and the um, and the what am I saying here? Uh, the really really fast glory kills themselves. Not this one. This one. That was not a death from above. Just try not to de die too hard. We can also deal with these jokers pretty quickly. Nice. Where's the other one? There it is. We want this. Not quite sure what it's using. Probably the same stuff as the Plasma cannon, right? So, plasma rounds. They are in next to each other, and... They have the same amount of ammo. Ooh. Nice. That was a death from above. 
And a whoop. I got a whoop. I gained a whoop. And is there anything else around? Yeah, there's some stuff down here. Nice. Let's try and fill up. I mean, yeah, they do always have the same amount of ammo in them. So I'm guessing that's the same stuff. And uh, the guy alluded that there's another weapon around here, which I'm going to further allude is the BFG, because I don't think anybody who's played this who's playing this game does not know what a BFG is. That's where we came in, so let's not dither around too much. Oh, this is a long episode. Do you know what? I've been playing a long time and only just noticed, so I'm going to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you will join me for the next. I hope you will leave a like, and I hope you will subscribe if you haven't, and I hope that you will join other people for their videos on this channel too. But until next time, thank you for watching this episode, and I look forward to the next one, which is going to be right now.